Hello, viewers. <laughs> this movie you're about to watch is a gospel movie. And I believe that it's going to bless your soul and minister life into your lives. But please, hold on a minute. Kindly subscribe to this channel. Click the notification bell, like and share. Do it now. Do it now, please. If you do that, you have encouraged us. Subscribe, like and share. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. Happy watching. Twelve were we at the table, whining and dining, being fed by the master. There was light, chasing away darkness, for the flock was not yet scattered. Everyone was fed, and it was time to depart and make good use of what we had eaten. Hello, hello, hello. Where is your master? Why are you asking for our master? Because we want to see him. For what? For the hours. Call your master out for me! You not tell me that your master is busy. The authority seeks him. Why did you want to see our master, I said? Because your master is a criminal yes, and yes. is under arrest. You can't take our master yeah. away! You are under arrest. The authority has signed the warrant of your arrest, so follow me. No, no. Or else. If any one of you want to prove stubborn, you'll be arrested. Yes. We really had so well, thus making it seem as if the journey was long. Right at the entrance of the hopper room, the test of each began to see who was indeed worthy of that which he had been fed. The heathly flesh and the terrestrial blood of a divine soul and an eternal spirit made an offering for sin. To see who is indeed worthy, who oh, I say, of flesh skinned off alive by weeps, of blood poured out till none remained, and water hello gushed out at the pierced side, of souls spilled out willingly unto death. from the land of the living and buried with the wicked, stricken but not for his own transgression. Yet it had pleased the Lord to bruise his lamb to the slaughter, to put the same bearing Messiah to grief and offer his pure precious soul, not for his sin, but all for you and I. 
the requirements of our adoption. Even then, we hid our faces from the pierced sun, despised him, and esteemed him not. Nevertheless, he shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. And right at the entrance, I say, of that large room upstairs, converged every soul ready to depart to the master's beatings. A storm loomed ahead, little rain began, and the most eager ones dashed into heat to begin their works nonetheless. And did they reach their destination early enough? For us all that waited, darkness loomed outside, the floodgates of the heavens opened, releasing a deluge thereof that never seemed to end. Tired of waiting, ah, our tummies heavy, what we had eaten judging us. Some of us pondered on riding the storm, but riding the master did have mercy, and the outpouring reduced. Until the weaker soul entered the ring, we all became energized. I particularly are tired of the chit chats and I was ready to depart and fulfill my master's duty and obligation, for which I was fed, of course. So I said goodbye, and without looking back, I moved forward. Then it became me alone along the path to life. must not go off, garments that must be kept pure and wrinkle-free, a jar of extra oil, talents to be traded, and rivers of the outpouring all around me. Thorns caught deep gashes into me. I jumped white beds of waters, tearing my precious garments in the process. Yet there was no going back.
master deed have mercy and intermittently send lightning to illuminate the way. Whenever the wind and the rain threatened my light, making it go dim. The journey was indeed long. The spirit was also there to supply the wisdom for direction that my feet never slid, although I staggered and stumbled at times. But I never fell into a bottomless ditch and my lamp never went off, although so dim sometimes. At last, near home, for I could see that bright light. Even my lamp was rekindled and my garment was washed. I met few souls and I was encouraged, particularly a soul that must have left after me, bearing the burden of a smaller and weaker soul. And we both wondered how we climbed those mountains, waded through the overflowing valleys, while yet trading our talents and making profits. How we survived the fear, the doubts, and tears of the wounds. Grace. Home at last! in the dark no more I could see the brightest of lights I submitted my lamp that was still burning and the talent that I had traded for my torn garments I got the purest one and my wounds were healed with the master's love and on my head was placed a crown of purest gold embedded with the most precious jewels by my maker's grace, I have weathered the storm. And I have life, real one, in place of the fake that I had lost for his sake. Now in my mansion from above, I watch as another outpouring begins. And with it, another set is dispatched into the dark world. With a lamplight that must never go out, even through the storm, but shine brighter and brighter till they get home. This is my own story, and I cannot but wonder about the others whom we started together. Wonder what their journey was like, especially those who had carried feebler souls as extra burdens with them. Ah. I do know of one of us. 
that grievingly lost it. For his thirsty soul saw a fake light by the wayside. And against the master's pleas, it turned therein. I was forever lost. This way he's a lonely one. No other soul works it for you. But you are not alone. For the master is with you all through. In the lightning, in the reduced outpour, and in direction. Healing, carrying, and bearing. He is all you need through the valley of the shadow of death. When your breath ceases, and your outward man perishes. For your inward man to be finally renewed. As your breath needs to stop for you to have life. Here then is my exhortation to future wayfarers. Wine with the master, dine with the spirit, eat with the father. Feed at the master's feet, eat of his flesh and drink of his blood. For the journey is long. This is the story of the lonely wayfarer on the path to life I'm a lonely wayfarer along the path to life and all I have got how my lamb a jar of oil my white garment must not the talents of God to trade until I meet my maker. I gotta do what he beats me. I gotta keep going when it seems impossible. I gotta keep moving when it seems life was ended. I gotta keep Against the heart